Welcome to this edition of the First Aid Show. The EMS need help at times, and it's good if you can offer to help them, but sometimes your help may be declined. We asked a paramedic for their thoughts. Um, in any situation, if you are a bystander and you're wanting to help, the best thing you can do is first of all, introduce yourself, explain your relationship to the person that we're looking after, and just say, if you need any help, I'm here. And then follow any instructions that are given by the crew. If we see that you are calm and you are willing, it is highly likely we will ask you to help in some form. And it might seem to you that we're giving you quite a minor job to do, or it might be a significant job. Whatever that is, every single member of the team is making a helpful contribution. So the person that goes out and moves the cars off the drive is as important as somebody that's applying pressure to stop a, a serious hemorrhage or bleed. We find that everybody has potential to contribute to the teamwork at the scene and we will always utilise people if we can and if it's helpful. So please don't worry that the job you've been given is insignificant. Every single thing helps the treatment of the patient. Some things that are unhelpful, I would say, is if people are under the influence or intoxicated, they sometimes aren't as coordinated and in control of their behaviour and their emotions. So we will often ask those people to step away and give us space. The other thing is it requires a lot of concentration and clear communication. And if there is a lot of noise or interruptions, it makes it hard for us to focus and hear some of the more subtle things such as the breathing sounds and heartbeats and things like that when we're listening with a stethoscope. So there will be occasions where we'll say, please can people be quiet or can you leave the room? Please don't take offence. This is just so we can treat the patient with the best care that we possibly can. Um, often situations are highly emotive and we don't, you know, we don't disrespect that people might be crying or tearful or angry or if there's a mental health situation, behaviour can be out of control and it's no fault of the people there, but sometimes we do have to control the scene and manage the scene to make sure that we do the best for the patient. So just be guided by the crew that are looking after the patient.